First, we'd like to thank you for purchasing your Click Gear. I hope you're enjoying the cart. This video is going to demonstrate the removal and installation of the Click Gear Model 3.0 brake cable and sheath. Note that this is only for the Model 3.0. It's recommended that you set up in a large enough space to work on the cart in its open position. So give yourself plenty of room. This isn't terribly difficult, but it will take some time to complete, so keep that in mind. To assist you in accomplishing this task, we've set up a few pause points throughout the video that will give you time to work on the uh, project. Please pause the video at each of these points and then hit play when you're ready for the next step. There's also a PDF of this repair available for download at clickyourusa.com. So you might want to download this and either put it on your computer or print it out and it'll be a handy reference along the way. The tools you'll need for this are Phillips and regular screwdrivers, a pair of pliers, wire cutters, a three quarter inch wrench socket or adjustable wrench, and 10 millimeter socket. It's not 100% necessary to have a 10 millimeter socket, but it'll make life a lot easier uh, for one of the operations in this. Okay, so now we're ready to go. Now open the cart, leaving the front wheel in the horizontal position. In other words, don't lift the front wheel up yet. Take a look at how the cable sheath is routed from the brake lever through the console until it feeds into the main tube. You're going to need to uh, reroute this in the same manner when you finish, so it's good to give a visual of this so you can remember how it was routed, otherwise you're going to possibly stumble when you uh, reroute it in the end. Now notice that the cable comes out of the main tube on the left side but feeds up on the right side. This is done so the cable doesn't kink and bind when you're uh, operating it. So we're going to remove the front wheel and you'll need either a 3 quarter inch wrench, socket or adjustable wrench. So simply turn the nut counterclockwise and remove the front wheel. All right, now go ahead and return the wheel pivot to its upright position. Now, we're going to remove the cable nut assembly from the brake hammer by pushing the spring-mounted brake hammer to relieve the pressure on the cable nut assembly. Now, remove the cable end cap by either pulling it off with pliers or snipping the wire with wire cutters. I would snip the wire with wire cutters because you have all these parts available to you um, in the packet, so it's the easiest way to do this. Now we're going to remove the cable nut assembly from the cable by using pliers and a 10 millimeter socket. But don't remove it from the bolt. Now using pliers, squeeze together the plastic portion of the cable nut assembly and the 10 millimeter nut. This should free the assembly and allow it to slide off the end of the brake cable. You want to set this aside for installation at the end of this procedure. The brake cable should now be free from the lower front wheel portion of the cart. Next, we'll free it from the upper portion of the cart. Now you want to loosen the two screws of the upper umbrella mount until you're able to separate the upper umbrella mount from the lower brake mount. All right, now that the two screws are loose, Separate them with your hands or use a regular screwdriver and leave the upper mount in place with the screws. Once you've done that, remove the two screws and washers from either side of the lower brake mount to free the brake lever. Now that you've freed the brake lever, 
separate the brake lever from the lower brake mount. Now that you've separated the brake lever, remove the cable end from the brake lever by pushing against it with a screwdriver head. Okay, so now you need to remove the entire brake cable and do this by pulling it out of the sheath from the cart handle end. Loosen the cable sheath set screw as far as possible without it being removed. This screw is located just under the looped pole handle for the main hinge lever. Now remove the sheath by first removing it from the lower tube guard guides and handle guard guides. Then pull the sheath from either end of the large main tube. Now that you have the cable sheath and cable out, it's time to reinstall the cable sheath and cable. So first, we're going to install the cable sheath but it's going to take a little bit more time than it took to take it out because you're going to have to blindly route the sheath through the main tube. If the new cable is inside the brake cable sheath, remove it by pulling the barrel end of the cable. Now using the new cable sheath, insert one end into the entry hole at the top of the main tube passing it through the plastic handle pivot section. Now, you need to route the sheath through the large main tube and feed it through the exit hole at the underside of the main hinge lever. It's fairly unlikely you're going to hit it on the first try, so don't be discouraged. It takes a little time. That's normal. Once you've routed the cable sheath through the body of the cart, you'll need to now thread the cable sheath through the handle guard guides. This is essentially the reverse of what you did when you took the sheath out. Next, work the cable sheath through the gap nearest the handlebar in the mesh netting. This is on the opposite side of where it fed out of the main tube. Now follow the handlebar with the cable sheath for the length of the mesh until you get to the upper edge of the mesh. Then follow the contour of the console. There's a natural path for the cable sheath to rest in. Now move to the bottom half of the cart and route the cable sheath through the tubing guard guides. Insert the ferruled end of the cable sheath into the nut assembly. You're now ready to insert the cable into the cable sheath. Thread the small 3M washer onto the cable, then thread the cable through the entire cable sheath. Insert the cable end into the cable nut assembly. Start the cable through the round end of the assembly and pass it through the hole in the assembly bolt and through the plastic tab. Place the end cap on the end of the cable and squeeze it tightly to clamp it into the cable. Now move to the handlebar end of the cart and connect the brake cable to the brake lever on the handle. Now it's important to note that the small washer does not go inside the brake lever. To do this, 
you're going to align the barrel end of the cable with the hole in the brake lever and push it in with the end of the screwdriver to seat it. Now we're going to press the brake lever into the brake mount. Now insert the screws and the plastic dual height washers into the sides of the brake lever and tighten it fully. At this time, tighten the two screws of the umbrella mount fully. Okay, now we're going to reinstall the front wheel by inserting it through the axle from the left side of the cart and tighten the nut. Now that the front wheel is back on, engage the brake and lean the cart back to lift the front wheel in the air. So now, using your thumb, push the brake hammer until it hits the wheel and stops, and then slide the cable nut assembly down the cable until it is resting in the brake hammer. At this time, you're going to use the 10 millimeter socket to retighten the nut on the cable nut assembly as tight as possible. Okay, so now you want to adjust the cable sheath to create equal lengths of slack near both entry points of the main tube. Then tilt the cart back onto its handle and using a Phillips head screwdriver, tighten the cable sheath set screw located just under the pole handle. Now go ahead and return the cart to its normal upright position. The brake should be engaged so you can check it now to see if it's engaged and then release it and set it again and make sure it's working. And you should be done. Congratulations. So we hope you found this video helpful and we definitely encourage you to visit ClickGearUSA.com to check out all the new accessories and gear we have for ClickGear. There's a lot of new stuff for 2012, so check it out. You might find some things you'll really like. Thank you for purchasing your click gear, and we hope you enjoy your golf rounds.